Hey everybody, welcome back to Villains and Vice. I'm Beth and today I have pen mail. And do not tell Mike because I'm gonna be in trouble over this one. <laughs> pin collections are Lucifer, Evil Queen, and Maleficent. I have a side cat collection. I have a Chernabog collection. And Mike has his Pascal collection. <sighs> there is this one pin out there that I have coveted for a while. It made zero sense for me to get it, but the first time I saw it was on my friend Anthe's Instagram at Always Disney 26, and I've been obsessed with it since I very first. I even showed it to Mike, and I don't show Mike pins. That's just not something I do. Oh my gosh. And then Chelsea had posted pins that she was getting rid of on her Facebook page. And God help me, this pin was one of them, and I was like, yes, I need that. And I got some others and started another collection. Couldn't help it. I'm curious. Let me know in the comments. Do not cheat if you know what pin it is that I am talking about. My friend Ginger over at Just Ginger might because she also got the same pin and I commented on her video. So let me show you what I got. It is my favorite Disney movie. So felt like that made it kind of okay, right? Okay, I am just obsessed. I just opened the package and, oh my gosh, it's even prettier in person. It's just stunning. It is the three fairies with Sleeping Beauty's dress. Make it blue, make it pink. Oh my gosh, I just can't even. It's just so pretty, it's just so pretty. Let's back her off. It's from Disneyland Paris, and you know they have the best pins. The back. More importantly, here is the glorious front. The detail is amazing, even the the fairies' faces are just spot on. And I couldn't stop there. She had other Sleeping Beauty pins that I was like, oh, I need those. If I'm gonna get this one pin, I'm going to have to start a collection. Don't get mad, Mike. Don't get mad, don't get mad. Sorry, sorry. I also got, they're just, gorgeous pins. The Sleeping Beauty 60th. It's a limited edition pin. It's Aurora dancing with Prince Philip, who was my first crush by the way. And look, it changes from blue to pink. Oh my gosh, it's just so cool. Oh, it's even better than I thought. Okay, so it starts as pink, and you go all the way around, and it's blue, and then if you keep going, it's both. Unbelievable, such a gorgeous pin. And I got one other pin from her. Another Disneyland Paris pin. And you know how I feel about birds, but this one was just so cute and she was offering such good deals on them that I couldn't pass it up for a number of reasons. It's adorable. It's one of the best scenes in the movie. 
and it's a, it's a Paris pin. It's her little woodland friends. The owl and the rabbits down in Prince Philip's boots and the birds when they're going to dance with her when she starts singing Once Upon a Dream. <sighs> I had to have it. I had to have it. So here they are. My gorgeous, gorgeous new Sleeping Beauty pins and the first pins in my new <laughs> Sleeping Beauty collection. <laughs> And now I can participate in a lot more of the blind boxes because when you only collect the villains and so many of the blind boxes have princess pins, you kind of get left out. Not anymore. Now I can get the Auroras for me and the Rapunzel's for Mike. So let me know in the comments what you think about my pins. I'm very excited. I'm going to need more pin boards, giant pin boards, I think, for my new office. But. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.